hello and a warm welcome to you all my friends very good morning and today I am going to show you how to install WordPress the content management system for creating a website okay so you might have been aware about what exactly it is WordPress in the previous tutorial so I would proceed with how to install WordPress on your hosting space so uh, due to the popularity of WordPress almost all the hosting service provider from where you had purchased your hosting space or hosting plan provide one click installation facility of WordPress on your hosting account so you need not to I think uh, your hosting provider would also provide you one click installation facility so i don't think that you won't be able to go and manually download uh, wordpress uh, script from wordpress site and upload and do all those things i don't think that would be required for you as of now if not you can go i would tell you in the latter after the end of this tutorial <laughs> but it's very easy just what you need to do is that go to your uh, you purchase a domain name and a hosting space once you purchase domain name and hosting space if you had uh, had attached your uh, domain with your hosting after that uh, go to your hosting space account my is uh, godaddy log in there go to my account in my account you will find the your hosting plan this is mine launch it once you launch it you will find all the details tools there which are related to hosting so I will search for the applications popular application it is here WordPress okay wordpress is here wordpress joomla and one so i want to install it okay just you uh, you can um, opt here show all or if you wish to directly install by clicking there you can as well do that so let's see all those popular these are all, all popular you can if you click here you will show all but i have to concern with wordpress okay so I we'll click on WordPress. What I have to do is that uh, install now. Click on install now. It will search for the website on which you are willing to install. It is uh, prompting me. There are a lot of website of mine. Okay, uh, so it is prompting me on which website you are willing to install WordPress. Suppose I install want to install on easy tech tips dot info so I'll click here and uh, proceed okay here it is uh, telling me to uh, remember one thing that uh, if you are going via if you are going one click via one click installation of uh, your with your hosting account then you need not to create manually database and these all things all thing will be done automatically so you have to just write your uh, database name uh, okay uh, i will write my database name for uh, my website uh, name w e my new website my n e w w e b s i t kuch bhi whatever you wish to write <laughs> after that you need to uh, create a database password okay remember this is not your login username password for your wordpress or your website but it is the database password mm. so uh, look at here there is description it will say you that one it should be eight characters more and after that it should be a combination of small letters and capital letters as well after that it should contain some special characters as well so just uh, write whatever you wish uh, so I am writing here okay repeat it same 
okay once you do that it is it will ask if you do the next it will ask for the installation directory if you are willing to install on the main website when i when you someone hit uh, www.easytechtips.info or your root website then leave it a blank okay uh, but if you want to install it on subdomain then uh, you can make a folder over here you can say uh, right here uh, whatever you abc as you whatever would be would be name you wish to say of, the, of your subdomain so if you wish to uh, create on your main website just uh, see here it's okay leave it empty and uh, do the next once you do the next it will ask for now this place at this place it is asking for the your website or you can say wordpress login username and password this is login username and password whatever you wish to write you can write admi and admin and you can uh, see whatever you wish to create your password okay uh, just write your password here right here uh, your email address <coughs> over which all the notification are related to website will be sent by default so okay enter your website title here which will be displayed on the top okay once you hit finish it will automatically install wordpress on your website which you had selected okay and within a minute after installation you find an email uh, in your uh, given email address containing your uh, login username and password this uh, which you have created here and you are ready to uh, enter in the site okay that's it guys so it's now if I click a finish there it will install it okay and since I have already installed so I would show you what would happen okay so let's see uh, with some other uh, hosting accounts suppose if I have a, I also have a cPanel hosting you can also find here uh, website software quick install here or fantastic or deluxe you can go choose any one of this okay when you click here already wordpress is installed here if you wish to install wordpress click here wordpress and it will ask you to continue installation as the same thing which had been asked there it will ask also here so once you install it after that uh, what you need to do is that just go and log in to your website okay, okay guys once you install your uh, wordpress site on <coughs> your hosting space then you need to access your website go to your domain name www dot whatever your website it in, hit into your browser you will get a screen like this okay and your wordpress site is ready but in order to configure your website your manage your website money manage your content and a lot many things so you need to log in to the back end or you can say admin panel or you can see it to the dashboard so how to uh, access that admin panel or back end so uh, for any wordpress website uh, the login address url is this your domain name dot com dot com or dot com or dot org whatever would be that followed by say followed by a <coughs> for a slash and wp dash admin okay this is the thing which you have to type after your domain name in the browser and hit enter once you do that you would reach to you will be reach to the login url place just put your username and password which you had created at the time of uh, installation of the wordpress okay and hit enter or click login once you do login yeah you will reach to the back end or you will reach to the dashboard or you can say you will reach to your admin panel where from where you can manage your complete website so once you log in uh, you can 
at any moment of time after making any changes you can access your website by clicking uh, by rolling over your mouse at this place and uh, cl click uh, here visit my site okay so this is the front end this is the back end this is a place for where you can visit your front end okay so that's all things there are a lot many options there are a lot many things to say and to teach you so guys uh, this tutorial is now too much longer i would uh, tell you everything about the dashboard in the second tutorial which includes that dashboard details or your backend details so thanks a lot for watching guys hmm. if you have any confusion any problem just uh, write in the comment box i would uh, reply back to you and if you like my channel my tutorials just subscribe to it thanks a lot bye bye